Hi, my name is Neil Andrushan Pulley, and I'm bringing you this presentation on something I did uh, for work. It's basically a sales platform that runs on uh, a backend T-SQL database, JavaScript. It utilizes the JavaScript uh, library called Knockout.js, and as well as inheritance models. It also uses HTML and CSS, and for uh, that, it uses a framework called Twitter Bootstrap. Okay, I'm logging in. Remember, this was done for work. So while I worked on some parts and built some things, or contributed to building some things, uh, this was a group effort. So this is the customer's uh, page, it lists a bunch of customers. And you can click on the individual customers and it'll take you to their profile page in which you could uh, attach notes to the customers, you could attach files to the customers. Um, and you can see the customer's details. It's loading, it's a bit slow. I think that's more so to do with my computer being a little bit unmaintained uh, so you can click here and you'll see the customer profile page and you could uh, see the different attributes associated with that customer files associated with the customer you could set the files as their profile picture um, you can see the notes associated with the customer you could edit those notes, you can create new notes, uh, you could attach files to the customers, which you saw on the other page. You could also see the file list over here. You can see the invoices associated with a particular customer by clicking on the invoices. I also worked on that page. I also worked on notes and uh, um, the customer list of it. You can go to contacts. And basically, all customers at the store is customer contacts of the people you contact in order to get information about the store. So each customer will have many contacts. Um, and you, this is since this is a sales platform, you are the salesperson who you're logged in as. Uh, you can click on a contact to see their details. You get their phone number, their address, their email address. Um, you could edit their details. You can reassign it to another store or customer. You can attach notes to them. You can attach files to them. Um, also, since this is a sales platform, you're actually selling products to these customers. So you actually view the cust the products. The products also have their individual notes, documents attached to them. They have their own product profile page. Um, they have calculators, since this was for actually an alcohol company. The calculator will allow you to calculate details about um, any discounts they may get if they buy it in bulk. Uh, units, uh, um, the cost of selling it the margin uh, um, and various other things you can find out the revenue and profit per unit which is like a bottle or per case um, you can click on the product and you'll see details about it like its size, case size its cost, the case costs um, you can attach notes to it. You can also see the calculator. You can see the deals associated with it and the price set for different amounts of volumes. You can go and you can uh, uh, see the actual uh, sales that you have made to this customer by clicking transaction history. You can uh, sell them new things by guiding their selling and you can check it out. Um, and this page is for more generic uh, documents, notes, and products. Uh, it also has other things like surveys and various other pages and that's the gist of this uh, product that was made um, remember I worked on it as a group and I uh, thought it was a pretty cool thing uh, the main thing uh, that cut down on design time were things like inheritance and uh, um, the interesting frameworks that were used in order to simplify and uh, make design more cleaner uh, and uh, that's all for now. Remember, it used XML, JSON, JavaScript, HTML, Twitter Bootstrap, 
access um, and a SQL Server backend database. And that is all for this. I hope you enjoyed seeing uh, work in progress. And that is all. Thank you. Bye.